Do you ever wonder what reality is? What do you mean? Like, I was reading this article the other day uh, about quantum mechanics, man, and it was, it was, dude, it was crazy, fascinating. Quantum mechanics, you mean, like, the whole cat in the box thing? Yeah, yeah, right. It's, uh, it, it was saying that on a quantum atomic level that atoms and the electrons are on atoms or whatever. Um, don't actually go around and around and around in a predetermined path like you're thinking. It actually is everywhere at once until we actually observe it. Then we can tell where it is. So what you're saying is it's all based on perception? Yeah, it's crazy. That's why the whole Schrodinger's cat thing works, right? Because it's all about probabilities. It's uh, The cat in the box is both alive and dead until we open it up and actually observe it. It's weird. It is weird. Yeah, and it's crazy because it went on to talk about how because of this, um, there could be infinite numbers of universes and different realities, dude. And uh, that it's only our consciousness that sees them as linear, but it's not only until we observe it does it become, you know, one or the other, you know? You're losing me, man. All right, it's like this. Like, for example, when we made the decision to come to the arcade today instead of going to the park, in reality, we actually made both decisions. We went to the park and to the arcade. But it wasn't until we actually did that thing and observed it that it actually happened. So what you're saying is in an alternate reality, we went to the park instead of came to the arcade? Yeah, but that's what I'm saying, man. It's like if, if every decision we make uh, branches off into certain paths, it's not until we actually observe one way or the other by seeing it, and uh, that becomes our actual reality. Because whatever one we actually go to, but it's actually branched off. It's crazy. Yeah, it is pretty crazy. One thing that's always baffled me, man, is size. Our humans' inability to comprehend size. I mean, like, somebody would tell me how small an atom is, but we can't even ac actually wrap our head around how actually small an atom is. And the same scientists will say that the nearest star is 7 billion light years away or whatever, but we can't even really begin to fathom that, you know, it's absolutely crazy. So what you're saying is everything's in. It's crazy that somewhere out there is uh, alternate reality where we're doing endless different things. Like maybe we have a little extra cash, decide to go down the arcade, or maybe it's a little bit nicer we go outside, go to the park or something, you know what I mean? I've done everything. If everything is possible, then, you know, it, it, the, the possibilities are endless, you know? And it's like, maybe that's what deja vu is. Maybe it's just us like bumping into like another adjacent reality and uh, briefly seeing into that, you know, other universe for a second or two, and that's why it feels so familiar, you know, or maybe, you know, maybe it could be any of those things. Wow. Well, maybe this is just making my brain hurt. Did you even get any sleep last night? Oh, God, not really. Up researching all night. I don't know. I think I might go take a nap, though. I mean, it's really not like it matters. You're just going to do both anyways. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess you're right. Uh, whatever. Let's see what's on TV, shall we?